All right, so you've seen in another session where we added a domain inspection for one of the clients that we support. And uh, in this case, we're going to add the associated TLS slash SSL uh, cert information. So I'm going to go to uh, admin inspectors. I'm going to look for the specific TLS SSL. If you have a domain that's already being inspected, there's no additional cost to add the TLS slash SSL inspection on that. So these are paired together. They're split out for performance purposes as two separate inspections, but uh, they are included together. So uh, we'll just uh, follow up with the folks at our uh, our friends over at Barracuda MSP. So I'm going to call this Barracuda, Barracuda MSP.com, and I'm going to say TLS slash SSL. Uh, SSL is the old name. TLS is the new name, but most people... Um, refer to both of them as the same, so I like to keep it the same. And we will inspect this one, uh, barracudamsp.com, and I'm going to select the respective environment. I can start just typing which one I want to go to to search for it quickly. I'm going to uh, keep it as a default latest version. Of course, uh, the default ROAR dedicated Linux agent for your specific tenant. Uh, and I'm going to run this on a daily basis as well. And I'm going to set it for a specific time period because this is only for demonstration purposes. And I'm going to end this at the end of April. And if for some reason an inspection uh, uh, fails because of the performance of the site that it's doing the inspection against, um, you can adjust these settings to try uh, a few more times or adjust the timeout settings. But 99% um, of the time, it's not a requirement. We have that functionality in there if you do need to make those adjustments. And so we'll hit save here. We'll uh, let that run and uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, search for that specific one. So you can see it's here. Show's not triggered, but it does automatically trigger. I'm going to go ahead and force run it just to demonstrate um, it uh, taking place. And if you'll see, if I hit this little refresh status, I hit uh, you'll see that it's processing. If I needed to fix something or edit the friendly name or adjust the name, whatever the case may be, I'd simply click this edit button. Um, if I want to disable it, I simply click this disable button. If I want to terminate it, everything all together, I just hit this delete button and they, uh, it's, it's going. So if you'll see that that uh, inspection completed pretty quickly. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and look for that under Contoso because that's where I put it. Uh, and I'm going to search for uh, Barracuda MSP and I want to look at the TLS SSL cert so I click on this and then you'll see um, in the overview screen um, basic information about the uh, associated TLS cert and so you can see where it's uh, issued when it expires next let's encrypt uh, there's different ones they, they automatically renew every 90 days but when, cert when certain expirations come up let's say less than 30 days, you want to know about that. If something hasn't been taken care of and there's 15 days left, you would want to know about that again. So we have that ability to, for you to um, stay on top of that uh, because when these things expire, bad things happen. Not necessarily for the domain here specifically, but if there's another cert associated with, for instance, a Citrix uh, server that you're using, you want to stay on top of that. Uh, as things take place over time, of course, we've got the timeline. We've also got the data print that's associated with the respective inspection that's taken place here. And then uh, if there are any uh, recommended best practices that need to be taken care of or call for your attention, you'd simply go in here. Those are going to be highlighted um, out of the box for more, and it'll identify what the finding is, why it's a concern, what the attack vectors are, and what action you need to take place to resolve that. And of course, if you have integration with your PSA, like ConnectWise, we can simply push this over to ConnectWise as a ticket. They're synced together. You can work the ticket in ConnectWise and uh, respectively, once it's completed, it'll close the task in ROAR. ROAR will re-inspect to make sure that it was done completely and correctly. And then if not, it will open the ticket back up on both sides as well. So full, uh, full loop ticket integration, um, that's one of the advantages of having ROAR within your platform as well. So thank you for uh, taking a look at the SSL inspection and stay tuned for some other ones. Thank you.